My name's Simon. For the most part, my life is totally normal. I have a family that I actually like, and there's my friends. We do everything friends do. We drink way too much diced coffee, walk gorging on carbs. So, I'm just like you. Like a lot of stories, it, it's, it shows the underdog, and it gives the underdog his due. And there's a lot of kids out there who don't feel seen. You know, they're, it's, they're going through tough times, they don't feel like they can talk about it, and... I mean, I, was, I, was a, I personally was a kid who was raised in the South who I wasn't into sports, but I was like a theater kid, and so it wasn't very common for me to be in theater, you know? And it's like, so it's, but then I found this theater group that was, I really loved and they embraced, I embraced it, they embraced me and it was just so refreshing. But a lot of kids don't have that outlet, you know, and it's, so I think they can resonate with a character that's being seen and then have the hope that maybe I'll be seen by someone one day. It's nice to know there's another guy at school with the same secret. When did you first realize? It was a bunch of little things, like my first girlfriend. I think I'm falling in love with you. Wow, thank you. Be right back. Wasn't my proudest moment. Simon is played by the fantastic Nick Robinson, who's just a really cool kid. He really is. I, this is the first time I've met him and, and worked with him, and he's just, he's just a good guy. Um, we just, you know, most of my scenes are with him, so it's just fun just to kind of pal around and... Uh, you know, because never every now and then you don't. When you sometimes you'll meet other actors who maybe are kind of hip and trendy and stuff, and you never know what you're gonna get. Maybe you'll get like like an, an entitled kid, like a child star that's just like, I got this, and you're just like, all right, enough. And then you get someone like Nick, who's just a normal, kind, talented kid, you know, and he's just doing the best job he can. And I, that's I always appreciate that. I'm done living in a world where I don't get to be who I am. I deserve a great love story, and I want someone to share it with. I love how Greg just uses humor and quirkiness and musical numbers and, you know, just blows it out and just makes it fun. And it's like, if you're, I mean, if it's a heavy topic, but let's, let's make it fun and, and show it in a way that hasn't been seen. Disclaimer, this is about to get romantic as hell. 